to after discussing about the energy in the spring mass system uh, and uh, after discussing about the derivation of velocity of a simple harmonic motion derivation of acceleration of a simple harmonic motion we will try to solve one numerical on uh, of spring mass system and we will try to find out the time period and uh, we will try to find out the maximum velocity, the maximum acceleration, which is nothing but based on the formula we have already derived. Okay, so uh, let us see a, uh, one numerical. Okay, so you can see this is a this is a this is a spring and this is a mass. Okay, so this uh, spring and uh, this mass is a uh, five kg. Mass is five kg. And spring, as I have told earlier, steam uh, stiffness is nothing but force per unit displacement. So the spring stiffness, that is, this is otherwise called as stiffness. And more st stiff is the spring, uh, stiff is the spring, more force you have to apply for unit displacement. So in this case, the stiffness of the spring is 500 Newton per meter. Okay, so 500 Newton per meter. Always you try to convert everything to the meter. So that you will get consistent unit. Even if it is given in cm, you convert to meter. Otherwise, you will never get consistent unit. Okay. So, uh, uh, so it is asking what is the time period. So, what is being done? Like this mass is being, like initially the mass is being displaced by a distance of ten centimeter. Okay. So the mass is being displaced by a uh, distance of ten centimeter. And from there it is been released. Okay. When it is released, it has gone 10 centimeter that side, and it will try to come back 10 centimeter this side also. Like uh, it will go 10 centimeter that side and it will come back some 10 centimeter this side also. Okay, so this mass will uh, uh, come to the center and then it will overshoot and then it will come back to the center of the original position later. Okay, so this will uh, this simple harmonic motion will go on. Okay, and this uh, tension meter. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, so uh, what is the time period? Okay, so here 10 centimeter is the amplitude of the motion because you are pulling the mass by 10 centimeter and you are releasing it from there. So here the amplitude uh, of uh, the simple harmonic motion is 10 centimeter. Okay, so. Uh, what is the time period of this motion? That is the question. Okay, so this time period uh, is uh, you should always remember this because you cannot derive in the exam. So the time period T is equal to two pi n by k. Okay, that day I told you how to remember T m. T m if you remember that abbreviation. Okay, time period is related to m means. You know, time period means frequency is just reverse of that. It will become 1 by 2 pi k by m. So, for t uh, time period, m will be remaining on the numerator, whereas for frequency, k will be remaining on the numerator. That is short part uh, to remember. Otherwise, on, on normally tends to get confused with that. Okay. So, um, so we will find out uh, what is the time period. Okay. So, you can easily derive that also if. In case of confusion, so how, how is the derivation? F is equal to restoring force, and again, F is equal to mass into acceleration, bending the second law of motion. So, when you compare these two forces, it is minus kx is equal to minus m omega square x. Okay, so uh, minus minus cancels, and uh, x x cancels, omega square is equal to k by m. So, if omega square is equal to k by m, omega is equal to k by m uh, square root. And omega, we know omega is uh, velocity, that is the angular velocity. Mm -hmm. What is angular velocity? It is the angle covered per unit time. Mm -hmm. So, in a time period in simple harmonic motion, it is covering 2 pi angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, if that is the case, then angular velocity is equal to 2 pi by t, which is unit is radian per second. Mm -hmm. So, unit of angular velocity is radian per second. Mm -hmm. So, uh, angular velocity is nothing but 2 pi by t because in a time period capital T it covers 2 pi angle. Okay. So, uh, so omega is equal to k by m and again omega is equal to 2, by, 2 pi by t. Right. So, uh, so 2 pi by t is equal to k by m. Okay. 
then t is equal to 2 pi m by k. That is how you can derive. So, we have come to this point 2 pi m by k. So, now we know mass is 5 kg and my thickness is 500 uh, Newton per meter. Okay, so now there is no change, no need to convert anything because uh, in SI unit, you know, in SI unit, mass is kg. Okay, and uh, your distance, distance that length is uh, is meter, time is second, and force is newton. Right. So these are consistent unit SI unit, or you can uh, otherwise call it as NKS unit also. Right. NKS and CGS. There are two things. Right? So <coughs> meter kg second. Okay. That is meter kg second. This is cm gram second. Right, CGS. Okay, so so you replace mass is five kg and your thickness is five hundred. So two pi one by hundred square root. So square root of one by hundred is one by ten. So did this become two pi by ten? Two pi is six point two eight divided by ten. That becomes point six two eight. So the time period of this motion is point six two eight second. Okay. Now. Uh, you can take a picture. Now, next, uh, the, the, the next question is what is the maximum speed of this uh, particular simple harmonic motion? What is the maximum speed of this particular simple harmonic motion? Okay, so we will uh, rub it up. So, what is the maximum speed? So, that day we have done like uh, our, uh, uh, we have done like uh, x, the displacement is equal to a cos omega t plus star. Okay, then velocity is equal to dx by dt, which is minus omega a sin omega t plus star. Right? That's what we have derived, you remember because. This is dx by dt, dx by dt, okay. So, it is the derivation of that term. Then acceleration is equal to dx, d square x by dt square, right. Second derivative, okay. Mm -hmm. Second derivative, uh, d square x by dt square, dt square. Okay, so this becomes minus omega square a cos omega t plus pi, right. Your sign uh, derivative is cos. There minus is no sign. Minus plus sign. No, sign oh. derivative is cos. Mm. So there is no, no minus, minus there. Sound. So it will not become a plus. Okay, so both are minus. Yeah. Cos derivative is minus, minus sign, sign. But sign derivative is not okay. minus and cos. Okay. Integration. Mm. So um, uh, uh, my, uh, the question he has asked is the maximum speed. Okay, so the maximum speed, you know, sign, maximum value of sign is what? 1. It cannot be more than 1. Sign varies from 0 to 1. Sign varies from 0 to 1. So, maximum is 1. So, what is the maximum speed? Maximum speed is minus omega a. Okay. Minus omega a. So, omega, we have uh, done uh, omega is equal to uh, k by n, right? Omega k by n. Then A you know 10 centimeter, which is nothing but 10 by 100 meter. Clear? Yes. So K, K value, you already know that your K value is 500 Newton per meter. Per yes. meter displacement. Okay. So your 500 divided by 5, that is the K value, square root into uh, 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 amplitude which is nothing but 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 meter, uh, 10 by 100 or whatever you write. Okay. So, this becomes 100 square root uh, into uh, 1 by 10. Okay. So, this is 10 divided by 10, which is 1 meter per second. 1 meter per second. 
so that is your maximum velocity and it occurs at x is equal to 0 or whatever like the maximum velocity always occurs here that's a the maximum velocity occurs here when x is equal to 0 at the mid position maximum velocity occurs that we have decided discussed okay so this is for maximum velocity okay you take a picture of this will do acceleration also Okay. Now, the question is how much is the maximum acceleration? Okay. In this spring mass system, how much is the maximum acceleration? So, uh, we have told d by dt of x or d, uh, d square by dt square of x is equal to acceleration. So, it is otherwise you can say that d by dt of uh, uh, your velocity also. So, first derivative of velocity or second derivative of uh, displacement is acceleration. Okay. So, d by dt, then uh, we, we know it is uh, o, o minus omega a velocity is cos omega t plus phi. Right? So, not the uh, sine omega t plus phi. Cosine becomes sine, right? Yeah. When you yeah. measure velocity. Sin omega t plus phi. Okay. So now again, if you derive it, it will become minus omega square a cos omega t plus phi. Clear? Yes. 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 So the question is, what is the maximum acceleration? Okay. So a max is equal to minus omega square a because cos also varies from zero to one. Okay. So it is minus omega square a. So, you know uh, what is my uh, minus of s square? It is k by m square root square, right? That is the uh, omega square, okay? And uh, then uh, your amplitude is uh, 10 centimeter, which is nothing but 0 0.1 meter. 0 0.1 meter, okay? So, uh, your uh, k by m is nothing but 500 by 5 square root square. Okay, into 0.1, right? Mm -hmm. So this becomes uh, 10, and the 500 by uh, 500, 100 square root is 10, 10 a square, 10 square into 10 square into 0.1, mm -hmm. right? So 100 mm -hmm. into 0 0.1. So that means it is 10 meter per second square. You remember that always. Mm -hmm. Meter per second square. Unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Mm -hmm. So the answer is velocity is 1 and acceleration is 10 meter per second square. Velocity is 1 meter per second and you got your time period to be 0 0.63 second. So these are the three answers. Okay. So uh, there can be n number of numerical based on this. There can be n number of numerical based on this. Okay. So uh, always you remember this. 2 pi m by k. We don't need to derive everything. T is 2 pi m by k. T m. That short form you remember. So from this you can do so many things. You can do so many things from this. So uh, omega is equal to how much we have derived? M by k. Uh, omega is uh, how much we have derived? Okay. Omega everything the uh, basis okay, is Omega is equal to k by n, no? Okay. Root of k by n. Root of k by n. Okay. So, 2 pi by t is equal to root of k by n. So, omega, this, this is the fundamental things. When you are equating a is equal to minus, a is equal to minus, uh, minus uh, uh, omega, m omega, m, m a, m a, when you are equating these two things, from A, you know that is dx by dt, d, d square x by dt square. So from there you compare, like uh, this is, this is your omega square, uh, omega square x, okay. So your acceleration becomes uh, omega square x, okay. This is m, m into omega square x.
and somebody can ask you a tricky question okay uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, whether um, like uh, that is on mass so similarly uh, um, if uh, the stiffness increases so if the uh, it, is, it is becoming more stiffer means and <coughs> someone can ask you if the stiffness increases by four times then the time period will decrease by two times mm -hmm. because it is inversely proportional. Mm -hmm. So there can be n number of, uh, see there are, uh, the, this is the equation with three unknowns, okay. So you can make uh, n number of numericals uh, playing with these unknowns, okay. So this is uh, related to uh, spring mass system. A similar numericals can be solved uh, for simple pendulum. So, in simple pendulum, you just remember in case of time period 2 pi m, everything will be same. Mass will be replaced by length and k will be replaced by g. That's all. That you have to remember in simple pendulum. So, if somebody says this is the length of the simple pendulum, is increased, this is the length of simple pendulum, what will be the time period of the simple pendulum? And now, one more tricky question can, can come in. Uh, in uh, in a simple pendulum, okay, if you take this simple pendulum to the moon, mm -hmm. what will be the time period? Mm -hmm. So, the moon uh, g value will become g by 6. Yes. So, that means if g decreases, then the time period will increase mm -hmm. on the moon, okay. Mm -hmm. So, that will be a tricky, tricky question uh, in uh, time period of simple pendulum. So, we will solve one numerical on simple pendulum in the next class, okay. okay. Thank you. Huh?